Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie from Living Large on Lifetime and today it's time for the Wednesday Weekly on Thursday. That's right. One of these days I'm going to have my life 100% put together, but not today and not yesterday. So it is time for the Wednesday Weekly and this week's topic is get happier, get healthier. Yes, it is a proven scientific fact that happy people make healthier choices and it works in the reverse. Healthy activities make people happier. So how can we capture that happiness in our life? Believe it or not, 50% only 50% of our disposition is based on genetics. So you could be a glass half full kind of person or a glass half empty kind of person based on your genetics alone, but only 50% of that attitude is based on genetics and what you were born with. 10%, this part kind of boggles my mind, only 10% is based on life circumstances. That's odd to me because I feel like I'm the type of person who takes life circumstances and lets them overwhelm me when it should not be that way. I have to remember the 40% is the percent that we have control over. This is the part that we can choose ourselves. We can choose to be healthy and happy. We can choose activities that make us happy. In turn, this will make us healthy because we will then make healthier decisions. So that kind of boggles my mind. 50% of our disposition, how cheerful, happy, positive we are, 50% of that makeup is genetic. Only 10% is based on life circumstances. 40% is based on our reactions to those life circumstances and the activities that we choose to do to make ourselves happier. So I have a lot of things going on right now, life circumstances that are not making me happy, not at all. I feel like I'm more 40% life circumstances and only 10% is me choosing to be happy. I need to reverse that. We have, all of us, the power and the capacity to reverse that trend and decide how we're going to react to life circumstances. Life circumstances are miserable right now for me, but I get to choose how I react to those circumstances. I get to choose on a daily basis an activity to engage in that really makes me happy deep down inside. I get to choose to wake up in the morning and to be happy and have a positive outlook, or I get to choose to be negative. I get to make my attitude what I want it to be, and this in turn will affect my healthy decisions. If I'm happy, I'm probably going to choose to eat better food. If I am happy, I'm probably going to choose to move a little bit more. If I'm happy, I make it outside more in the sunshine. If I'm happy, I'm probably going to engage more with other people. Our internal happiness affects our outside activities and our outside surroundings because when we're happy, we choose to be in happy places and that makes us healthier. So what are some things that you can do to make yourself happy? Um, WW suggests that any activity that you can fully immerse yourself in and enjoy is going to make you happy. By this, I'm thinking read a book, listen to an audiobook, go for a walk, get out in the sunshine, take a bubble bath, um, go enjoy a fancy restaurant. <laughs> That's one of mine. Um, uh, pff, do a craft crochet, do a puzzle, start a new craft, start a new hobby, write poetry if you like to write. The list is totally endless and the thing is you need to sit down and write down what makes you happy. Do you like to spend time with family and friends? Do you like to spend time with your grandkids? Do you like watching movies? I love going to the movies right now and I'm trying to go two to three times a week. Movies make me happy. Movies get me out of my own circumstances and I am totally immersed in the story in the movie for that time frame. So that does make me happy. The key is you need to write down, physically write down what makes you happy so that you can then physically pursue what makes you happy. Weight Watchers suggest that you can start with a simple activity about gratitude. <laughs> 
I don't feel like I'm an ingrateful person, but this activity doesn't specifically make me happy. I am very appreciative for the things that I have and I'm grateful for everything in my life because I know um, even Mama Rita says it could always be worse. It could always be worse. So I am super thankful for everything that I have, every person in my life, all my friends, my family, my physical surroundings, um, the things that I own, the roof over my head, the fact that I get to choose what to eat on a daily basis. I don't have to eat whatever is tossed my way or whatever I happen to find in a dumpster or um, I, I have such an abundance of food, I get to choose and I actually have to be careful what I choose. That's a blessing and that is something we need to be grateful for. So WW suggests that you can start by doing a daily gratitude list. Think of three things, just three things each day that you're grateful for and this is gonna help you appreciate more and make you happier in the long run. That's what they say. I definitely appreciate everything I have. I don't know that this appreciation makes me happy and maybe I'm thinking about more like surface happiness versus joy and that kind of actually it deserves a whole different discussion as well because being happy is definitely the start but true joy in life really takes time to cultivate and you have to know what you want where you're at in life and be happy with your circumstances and the path that you've chosen so there is a difference between happiness and joy. But in the short term, today, right now, in my life circumstances, whatever's going on today, I can choose to be happy. And the more I choose to be happy, the more activities I do that make me happy, the more inner peace and inner joy I'm going to experience. And that's what I'm looking for right now. That's probably what we're all looking for, not just so that we can be healthier people, but just to be a happier, well-rounded person who loves life. I feel like I'm a very passionate person. I can be positively passionate and I can be negatively passionate. I need to put all of my passionate energy into being happy right now and so do you guys. So hopefully let's impact each other. Tell me down below in the description box what you do to make yourself happy. What are some activities that you completely immerse yourself in and lose yourself and things that make you happy? Because I need ideas. I gave you some of my ideas but I I really need to physically be proactive right now and look for the things that are going to make me happy and I totally encourage you to do that as well. So list down below what makes you happy and let's get on the happy train and get ourselves healthy and happy. I love that Weight Watchers, again I say this every week, but I love that Weight Watchers is focusing on overall whole body well-being, not just what we eat every day, how much we move, how many points we're eating, what size are our clothes, but our overall happiness and well-being affects everything. Our happiness affects our health. Our health affects our happiness. So I love that WW is focusing on that and really giving us some physical proactive ways to go after this overall body health. So the recipe for this week is chicken with creamy tarragon mushroom sauce. Look at that. That looks amazing and that is two smart points per serving. I will type up the recipe for you guys and link it down below. So let me know if you try the recipe this week, what you think of it, it looks delicious. Let me know if you have any other questions about being happy, being healthy. This is my goal in life right now is to spend my passion showing you guys how to be happy and healthy on this WW journey. So join me. We are all in this together. And this is the end of the Wednesday Weekly on Thursday. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.